Okay, with the uh, season one of the online league finished and the crown going to Bloody Ben, uh, a French player, absolutely amazing player and uh, a worthy winner of season one. Obviously, we've got round two coming up uh, very shortly and uh, Ben has uh, come back to try and defend his his championship. So here we've got Ben's prize, which is uh, the Shuzao that has been, look at that, amazingly modelled hand and arm there. Uh, that's my first modelling ever with green stuff. Um, yeah, sorry, Ben. Um, <laughs> now, now, I asked Ben uh, what he wants in terms of colour scheme. So the idea is the helmet's going on top. Uh, this is getting stuck on once I've painted it. Uh, so he's going to be a the crowned prince of the arena and around the base i'm going to put uh i'm just going to use some what i'll tell you show you what i'm going to use i'm going to use um yes i'm just going to use some uh gel sticks <laughs> this is uh, the, the white pen like a white gel pen uh to write over the base so i'll prime prime it i guess i'll base coat it black like i have done with all the Super fancy brawl um, miniatures, and then uh, just write that over the top, uh, just just to show it that it is actually a um, you know a, a trophy, effectively. But obviously, Ben, you can play with it to your heart's content as a unique figure. Now, I'm not going to promise this is going to be amazing, uh, but, <laughs> but it'll be it'll be in line with the other miniatures that I've painted. So they'll look fine on the table, uh, just perhaps not uh, competing for any. Uh, competition okay so ben wanted a white tiger with black strikes and you can get a white tiger uh it's, it's a uh, it's a rare species uh mostly found in captivity um we've talked about this before uh so it is very very rare to find them in the wild uh, but they do exist uh as i say in captivity so i've got some photo uh reference here uh, to help me with that uh, he also wanted a red clothes, so uh, the classic Shuzao red cape, which I'll, I'll do again. Uh, a bronze armour, which is pretty cool. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to be using the lead belcher. I'm probably going out, if I want it bronze, I'm probably going to go over it with uh, the griff hound orange. Uh, a gold crown. We've already got that ticked. Look at that Playmobil crown, absolutely amazing. And a cup, which he's going to get as well. Um, so... That's that's pretty much standard. Now, in terms of the blade itself, White Tiger, what I might do, actually, is uh, I'm just going to go a bit free reign on things he didn't talk about, like the sash around his, around the front there um, uh, and some other stuff as well. Uh, but we've got red, we've got white. I'll have to have a think once I've painted those in and then figure out what kind of uh, colour scheme to do the rest of it in. So... White Tiger actually makes this a lot easier than the normal Shuzhou. The normal Shuzhou, obviously, I think it's a, it's almost like an albino version of a of a normal Bengal ti tiger is, is what the White Tiger is. So that's what's what's the rare part of it. So heading in straight with Apothecary White is going to be the most sensible start. And this is going to go over his entire fur. Now, instead of using the Black Templar to do the stripes, I'm going to actually use Null Oil to get and just use some gradient work uh, just to give a little bit of a better look. So literally plastering on uh, the problem with this brush. I've got this new watercolor brush uh, that's a bit bigger, but it's so long. It keeps hitting my uh, camera mount every time. Oh, look at this. This is going to go so well over my mud. <laughs> I am genuinely really quite sorry about this, Ben. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh at my own work. This is this is the first time that I had done modelling with uh, green stuff, so um, please please don't be too harsh. I think that looks amazing, personally. Oops, that's not uh, that's that armour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, ah, but I at, I can't tell you how much I love this game. This is definitely my favourite game. I think I own uh, out of all time. Um, just uh, just trying out the the uh, round two stuff. So it's going to be thematic weeks. Uh, so rather than just a straightforward um, competitive play, just you know draft your characters out of all the pool of characters that exist and stuff like that. Uh, I wanted to do it something something slightly different. 
to just help those new players as well as some more experienced and get them playing some different teams. So I've got a theme each week. And uh, the, the one I released this week, if you've seen the live stream that I did with Stu, uh, Siddons, uh, is going to be based on Corvash. Uh, so so he is ridiculously OP now with the new bloodied rule. Um, I honestly, there's there's no doubt about that. Uh, so... I thought, well, let's just use that. You just use that 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 fact that he is he is now really, really strong and one hundred percent the strongest character uh, in the field, and and use that to our advantage. So so in week one, everyone's got to play with Corvash as one of their three champions. So so everyone's got the beast, and then uh, from the pool of champions that I've chosen uh, to go with that are the the kind of just straightforward heavy hitting characters. Um, so the Gwains, the uh, the Wraths, the Kilgores, the um, the Shuz not Shuz uh although he is pretty heavy hit as well. Uh, the uh, the 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 Devrins, the um, who else have I got? Okay. Uh, the, uh, that's pretty bad. I've forgotten. We've got Kilgore, Wrath, Gwain. Darren, Marius, and Marius, of course, who's been now buffed with the new bloodied rule. And I'll tell you what, I played I played a few games and uh, he, he does come into it now. He does come into it more. So if you've, in, if you've really wanted um, Marius to play uh, as a character uh, and to be competitive, he is now getting there. And especially in the mode that I've chosen. Because you're not going to have massive support characters or anything like that. Uh, we're playing with, obviously, the new challenge, uh, one challenge card. Uh, so you're going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a proper brawl. And that, that's what I wanted the first week to be, um, uh, to, to be that theme, that idea. So you can you can head over to Discord and you can see uh, exactly what um, what, the, what this week's entails uh, as we wait for the remaining few people to register. Uh, if anyone wants to, um, uh, mind you, the, this video will come out but after registration is closed. So hopefully everyone's registered who wanted to register for uh, for the season. That'll be the hope. So uh, we're just going in here with Apothecary Y over the whole lot, to be honest, uh, because I can always go back over it to give it a... Now, this is a bit, of, this is a bit hard because it's a very... Um, It's a very uh, flat surface. That's something that... This is something that... Um, uh, what, was, what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is something that uh, contrast paints don't particularly like. But to be fair, we can get away with Shuzao because he's got fur. And the fact that he's got fur means that it's not going to be completely uniform. It's not, a, it's not a perfectly flat surface. So that's the Apothecary White. Uh, to start with our... New shoes out. In fact, he's not. He's not. I, I called him a new name, didn't I? Of course, I did. Uh, he is. Uh, where's me mouse? He's actually called. Uh, we talked about it here. Here we go. He's called Zing Zhao, and he's actually the uncle of Xu Zhao. <laughs> I've just completely made this law, and Stuart's probably just like, right. I'm quitting. I, I'm not working with you ever again. Um, but yeah. Uh, He's he's effectively uh, the uncle, and he's the 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 uh, undisputed champion of the arena. He's under he's called the undefeated. Well, he was called the undefeated, sorry, uh, and he, he became the people's champion. Absolutely loved. Uh, so I thought let's not just let, let's let's put a whole story around um, um, the the characters that I talk about, and this will this will continue. By the way. Um, and now I've got Stu's input. I'm definitely going to be asking him about some of the uh, some of the, the the kind of like um, what can I call it the um, the wish list wish lists that he wanted to do. And then I'm going to be doing some custom art based on what he's talking about. Uh, so that's going to be happening for this league, um, for this seat, this round, and this season. So hopefully, you know, it'll be very unique uh, in terms of the prizes <laughs> and everything else. Uh, obviously, nothing worth money, um, but just something a bit fun. Okay, so that's his, that's his, uh, that's his body done. Uh, so I think he might as well just go straight onto his cape. With uh, he wanted red, so I'm going to give him red, blind angels red, as per normal that I did. With the normal shoes out, 
and just shaking that pot. Oh no, I'll tell you what, these, these paints uh, last for a long time. You get a decent amount in here. Um, so yes, they are expensive, uh, the Citadel Contrasts. They're not cheap. Um, you know, you're talking about probably four quid a pot, I think. Um, but they will last you. They will last you a long time, as long as you don't spill them, which I've done a few times. Um, that's a surefire way to <laughs> waste money. <laughs> Um, but try try not to spill them and then you'll, do, you'll be fine. Uh, so go, just going in here and again, just making sure that we're not getting any obvious pooling uh, that will just ruin the effect of the contrast paint. So we've got a decent amount there. I'm still using this size as one Windsor and Newton. I mean, it's, it's mostly a watercolour brush actually, but... To be honest, acrylic brushes, which is a kind of like what you would... That's what uh, you buy. They're acrylic brushes. The brushes you buy uh, when you, uh, you know, like uh, the Series 7 and stuff like that, they're actually watercolour brushes. That's, that's not watercolour. Acrylic brushes. Um, or watercolour. I suppose they can be watercolour as well. So, you know, this this is a sable brush as well. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna last longer. It's gonna keep keep its shape, keep its point uh, for longer periods as well. So just having a look here, just bringing this down there, and certainly up there. And I'm realizing that that camera's shaking all over the shop, isn't it? So Ben, you're getting you're getting a uh, a uh, a painting gore painting gore painting game corner um, original piece here. You know this could this could be worth millions in an alternative reality. So you know it's worth keeping on to. <laughs> if you if you want to be bothered to pay the uh, postage, <laughs> I can't. Um... <laughs> I can't actually afford the postage, so uh, Ben will have the front. I don't think it'll be too much to be. Actually, I, I'll have a look. I'll go down to the uh, post office and find out how much it'll cost. If it's like a couple of quid, obviously I'll pay for it. I'm not fussed about that. But if it, if it's like 10, 15 quid, which judging by Brexit taxes and all the rest of it, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, then, um, yeah, then uh, I might ask for payment for a shipment. <laughs> So just going over, obviously, the hard to get areas. <laughs> but to be honest, this is easier to get than the uh, normal Shuzhou miniature because the normal Shuzhou miniature has got the arm going all the way down, um, which is really, really tough to get in. Uh, now, the other thing that I've just recently posted, uh, because people are asking about and I'm going to be talking about round two here, even though it might be, it may not be relevant for it, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, I've just got it all over his legs, so let's sort that out. Um, yeah, effectively, uh, we've got we've used tabletop tabletopia for uh, season one, uh, which was a success. Uh, we had a hundred percent play record, which is, to be honest, that is the most important stat. Other than uh, I went through the tier list and the stats and everything about what champions were played and all the rest of that, but I don't I don't really care too much about that. What it was about is about the community and getting people playing together, and it was a hundred percent play rate. I mean that that is just that's the best thing that I could ever imagine for you know it was what it was all about. It was about people just getting to play the game because it's such a good game, and I feel so passionately about that. Um, you know, I don't work for Mythic Games. Uh, I demo for them at conventions or have done um, and virtual conventions, but I don't work for them. So, you know, they're not paying me to promote this idea and run the leagues or anything like that. Very similar to Thagor. Thagor's, again, he's uh, just a real massive fan of the game and wanted it to, and want it to succeed, want people to be playing it because of the passion that we have for the game. I've gone over his tail now. So, 
my my th- I don't want it to be uber competitive. Uh, there's not going to be any monetary reward, so that that automatically takes away the most competitive players, really, in 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 a, in a grand sense of things. If you imagine most most games that are super competitive, uh, some of the rewards you can get are just absolutely massive, and hopefully, mythical. We'll we'll start doing that. Um, that'll be fantastic. Uh, it'll really bring in a lot of people, uh, especially competitive people, and then we'll we'll see extremely high play. Um, even though I think they'll all be French players, um, certainly to start with. But but yeah, to get a hundred percent play rate of all the games that that was that was all that I cared about. So I wanted it to be the similar thing again this season, but I've. Changed it slightly to make it themed. So if you've not seen uh, the post that I've posted around social media, uh, round two is going to be themed All right, each week. So it's going to be a different uh, pool of champions. It's going to tie into a story. I haven't decided if I'm doing an overarching story that will all tie in together. That possibly might happen. But it should be a lot of fun. And hopefully, just give it a little bit of fresh, uh, a fresh feeling in terms of as we play it. Right. Okay. That's the cloak. Just looking around, just making sure we haven't got any glaring like this. And sometimes that happens. For some reason, you just get like a little tiny bit, perhaps caught with my finger or something like that, uh, that takes away the paint. And then you have a white spot, which isn't ideal. So just make sure we're covering that. And that looks good. Okay. So that's this, that's this, uh, see that, see there, you see, just in there, weird, just a couple of little dots that was missed. Right, okay, so that is the, um, and by the way, I went down to a size uh, zero Windsor & Newton um, when I was getting to the more detailed part. So this is Chazelle so far, he's got his white fur and his red, his glowing red coat, like, awesome. It. So now we're going to make some decisions, personal decisions about how we're going to paint the rest of it. Now, I, I what I want to do, um, what is he normally? Uh, let's just quickly bring up, dee 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 dee. just going to quickly bring up, she's out. She, uh, is it was it like leather? Um, or was it metal? The uh, the the kind of armor. I think it was metal. So I can't, I kind of want to go. We want it to be unique, okay? We want it to be unique. So we got we got white. We're gonna have black stripes. We're gonna have a red cloak. And I want him to be different two shoes out. So he's not gonna be jade. He's not gonna be jade. So let's think about what can we do different than jade. Uh, now Ruby would tie in with the red, but again, I'm not sure. Um, I'll tell you what, let's have a little search on Google about um, Chinese gems. Because um, we always associate green gems with, uh, with, with Chinese uh, and certainly jade. Okay, but what, what else is there? Um, Right, okay, so we can think of them as a little bit like uh, elements in a way. Um, yeah, the five elements of Chinese culture. So green is actually wood, hence the jade, uh, of, of where, where you would get that from, uh, uh, of wood. Then you've got, um, you've got water as being black. So actually, maybe he's got a bit of fire with the red. Fire's red, as per expected. Yellow is actually earth. Black is water. And grey is metal. So with all that in mind, I like the fact that it's white and black to show water. Then the red to fire, which is very much a, an opposite effect. So why don't we go with earth, earth, water and fire. Well, we could go with all five elements. We could have the grey. Uh, he wanted bronze, didn't he? I guess the bronze is kind of yellow. As an exp- as expect, but um, I don't want to go with green again. I don't want it to be jade. I want it to be different, and that's the point of it. So 
I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm very even though I've just mentioned that um, <laughs> that. The uh, uh, the blue wasn't even mentioned in that. I quite like the idea of blue, but not just blue. No, not, no, not like like bright blue. That would clash way too much. I'm thinking of Griff Charge Grey, which is like a bluey grey, and doing the sash that color, doing the armor this color. Once I've got the metal on that, so I'm gonna get to get this all metal. Um, and have that like that, and then maybe, maybe a, uh, maybe even use this on the blade as well. Um, maybe two tone blue. So that's all, all metallic, 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 metallic. So let's do sash in this griff, griff charger grey. Made a decision. Sometimes you've got to make decisions, especially when you're making stuff up on the squat. Uh, so Ben, I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted. Uh, I think this will go well, and we will soon see. Again, all of that, all the rest of it is going to be uh, gone over with lead belcher, um, which will take a fair amount of time. Uh, so whether I'll be able to do that tonight, I don't know. I do have to get some sleep at some point. <laughs> it's been a bit of a crazy week. Um, work's been busy. And uh, trying to sort out this league, the opening of the league. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm actually enjoying organizing it all and uh certainly connecting with the community and and certainly with new players i mean i love that i absolutely love that i mean yeah it's all tied to the channel so you know i i want the channel to continue to grow of course um the youtube channel of course i do um and this is kind of part of that of the plan of that anyway but i also want the community to grow for super fancy brawl and and keep it alive uh you know because i think it's a it's a real concern that we're not seeing much organised play. I know COVID has happened, but that hasn't stopped other um, board game companies and uh, board games, especially competitive ones, uh, to keep to keep that organised play going. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Mythic Games games. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have demoed for them um, and uh, started to join the... The, the the company, as it were, in in in, in essence, uh, if if I didn't really love the games, and I really do, uh, Joan of Arc, still one of my favourite games. Uh, I just love how epic that is. Uh, Super Fancy Brawl is my best, is my favourite game uh, of all time. If I take into account everything, um, I cannot wait for Hell. That looks absolutely ph phenomenal. I've actually bought Darkest Dungeon on the PC. I'm never going to be able to time to play it, but uh, I started playing it and I was like, oh yeah, right now I see, now I see how all the mechanics tie in together. Superb. Um, and then everything else that they're producing, I just, right, right busters. I played and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great laugh. Uh, it might be more with the people I played with rather than the game, but it is a great game, uh, but it's one I don't have. Um, that's the one I don't have. Steam watches. Um, I didn't get, uh, well, I certainly didn't get a Kickstarter, but I might might look into it. Solomon Kane, of course, I cannot wait. I'm waiting for that to be delivered. Uh, so again, um, just just phenomenal games, like you know, right at the top of my lists. So um, as a company, as their games, can't fault them. But I just feel that you know it's very hard. I think it's very hard to be honest to to, to really make a successful fully organized competitive organized play game if you look at things like uh fantasy flight they had a massive branch and they would they would for their games um and, and most of the games to be honest they would support that they would they would push that right from the start from the get-go and that would be part of their whole plan and their whole model um and i just don't think that's myth well i hope i'm wrong i really hope i'm wrong but i, I don't know if it's going to be mythic's thing that it's going to be it's going to blow up in terms of uh you know like regional tournaments national tournaments going to worlds and all of that i i don't know i i hope i'm i hope i'm wrong and i hope it does uh that you know i would absolutely love that because um you know this this would be the 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 start of 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 what i think could be a very very long life for super fantasy brawl and we, we can see that just continue to grow and grow that's what i really hope i'm the optimistic side of me really hopes that is the case. Uh, I just feel that it might be a bit 
a bit little too late. I mean, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic game that we can all get and we can all play in a casual sense of the word. But um, how well it will do in a competitive scene, I don't know. Um, let's hope so. Okay, anyway, enough about that. Uh, so uh, that's the uh, the grey. So hopefully that'll be a nice and light and a slightly different. So I'm going to do the main part of this with the same on metallic. And then I'm going to do this in a bright blue, like the edge of the blade in bright blue. This is going to be bronze matching his armour, um, which will be pretty much all bronze. I might do like uh, the outer parts of these in a slightly different colour. Oh, bronze and gold. Bronze and gold. Gold, gold with... White and black, gold with white and black, or yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do gold with uh, with on the rest of it. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. I think I've decided that. Now his mane. Um, if we have a little look at, um, well, you can't see it, but uh, if I look at the white tiger, it's basically all the way through. It's uh, white with black stripes, and I, I can do some detailing around the face. Uh, that'd be cool. Um, so I think we're good. So let's get on with. To be honest, I think I might just get on with the metal work. Now, this will be quite time consuming uh, because there's a fair amount of metal on there. Uh, so we go in with the lead belcher. That's per normal. And we're going to just plaster the miniature with this, effectively, because uh, there's a lot to be painted that is metal. And I'll tell you what, even just starting doing this, paint, oh, I love these miniatures, by the way. Uh, for me, it's, it's a painter's dream. Uh, they are my favourite. I mean, a close a close one to that have been Marvel Crisis Protocol. And I've got a Kingpin to paint. Um, but Super Fancy Brawl, oh, these miniatures, they're so fun to paint. They're chunky, they're big, they've got fantastic detail, superb art style. I just love them. I absolutely love them. Um, and that helps towards the game. You know, when I, when I go and um, show people this game um, with my painted miniatures, they're like, wow, they're amazing. And they absolutely love uh, just playing with them, um, with the characters and choosing them based on what the character looks like, not what their cards are, which is exactly what you want for people beginning the game. Oh, they, that's a really cool character. Oh, can I play that one? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, to be able to just choose who you want uh, is so, so good and and helps that uh, introduction to the game. It really does. Uh, especially when you go with the Core 6. I think the Core 6 are so well designed and uh, they work so well as an introductionary uh, pool of champions that, you know, you can play you can play that one but one v one uh relatively simple to pick up the rules no real major new rules or anything you just go in with the basic rules and uh everyone just has such a great time that's i'm talking about kids most of the time um you know kids playing it adults playing it whoever playing it everyone universally who plays who plays this game pretty much loves it and that's what i love about this and that's why i really want it to succeed i think it it could do exceptionally well um, if retail support it. And that is a huge if. Retail have to support this. But you can't expect retail to go out of their way. Anyway, that, that's that's personal opinion coming in there. So let's forget that. But I just, I just really hope it does work and it is successful. Um, I don't know why I'm going carefully over that. That's all going to be metal. So let's just crack in now with this metal. So we're going to see some bronze. We're going to see some different colours. It's going to be awesome. Is that also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll do this metal. And then we'll have that kind of leather in between. Uh, by the way, I am loving seeing um, the paint jobs by people uh, on the uh, on the on social media. Uh, it just goes to show how good these models are, and you know some of this works by people who've just started painting. I mean, the amount of comments I've got and uh, stories that people have talked to me about the whole point of why I do this channel, to be honest, um, that have just started painting with these miniatures. 
they've used some ideas that I've that I've used on my videos and that's got them into painting. I, I honestly cannot expect any more than that. That is exactly what the channel was supposed to be. Uh, I started the channel to, to kind of showcase solo rules. That was the whole point of uh, the channel, to show these fan-made solo rules that there just wasn't any videos for. And, um, and that was great, and it worked. Um, but then, I think it, it was pretty much when Joan of Arc, when I was painting some Joan of Arc, and I thought... When I got the contrast paints, I was like, these are brilliant. These are so, these are these game changers. Um, so I thought, well, let's just post some videos of Joan of Arc painting and some different parts of painting. And they were massive hits. Um, people were just like, yeah, okay. I can see how little time that takes uh, and the results that it gives. And then when Super Fancy Brawl came, of course, I did a video for each character. Um, and they were... They were really well received, um, uh, uh, and I'm thankful for that. Um, but you know, the whole point of them, as pretty much everyone said, anyone who's who's a content creator on YouTube will tell you that you don't go into creating videos to make money. You really don't. Okay, uh, you know, I won't even get monetization from YouTube until I've got a thousand subscribers, which is insane, anyway. So that wasn't the plan. That wasn't the play. That wasn't the reason why I did it. The reason why I did it was because I wanted to showcase. And that, that's the most successful YouTubers, the ones that have got passion about the thing they're trying to do, right? Uh, so I really wanted to showcase the solo stuff that was out there that I was started to find out and wanted to know how to play. And there just was no videos uh, to kind of show it. And I was like, well, I learn best from videos. I think the videos are superb for uh, learning stuff. So, you know, watch it play Rodney Smith. Superb. It, you know, you watch his video and you'll know how to play those games pretty much extensively. Uh, brilliant. And I really like the fact that uh, Mythic Games have got him and uh, Becca Scott, which is always an entertaining um, uh, and brilliant kind of like exploration explanation of rules and, and how games work but but more so than that is the entertainment of their playthrough so i really hope uh, they come back in force again uh, so there are so many content creators uh, that show that that have something unique and something that's useful to people and that's why they're the content creators i love i mean yeah it's great to get the kind of news about new games coming out some previews uh, those who get like the the Kickstarter copies, and you can see previews of certain games, and see, oh, actually, yeah, that's something I want. They've they've got their use, but for me, the best YouTube videos are ones where you learn stuff, ones where you can get something out of it, um, and that that was always the plan of the channel. Um, so now, so now I've loved Super Fancy Brawl so much. You'll notice there's a lot of content from Super Fancy Brawl on the channel, not exclusively that. Um, but a lot of that content is Super Fantasy Brawl because that's how much I like the game. That's how much I'm passionate about it. So, you know, I'm, my channel will go where my passions lie. Um, that will certainly be the case. And I've loved painting miniatures. I've, you know, I've done that for quite a few years now, you know, four or five years um, with board game miniatures. Uh, but then I did a bit, I painted some of the um, Lord of the Rings uh, bat strategy battle game so that's been painted as well so yeah plenty of painting has gone on uh, but it was only uh, a year and a half ago or was it two years ago now or was it a year ago i've lost track now um i think yeah i think it was two years ago um i got my first contrast paints oh, i've just gone over his leg i got my first contrast paints and i was like wow these this is something special. Like I heard about them because uh, it was at UK Games Expo. I remember it uh, that Warhammer was showing them off, and you could go over and you can paint a stormtrooper, uh, stormtrooper, <laughs> a uh, well, uh, like ultramarine space crusader. No, oh my word! I should really know. That's terrible, isn't it? But anyway, you know what I mean. Um, a blood angels thing space marine space marine that was it i think you could you can paint a space marine um and i think you could even take it away with you with the contrast paints and people were just seeing how quick everything was and i thought well they're not, yeah okay cool but 
it's not going to be great, is it? It's not going to be fantastic. And the ones that you see, you see in the showcase and the in the bookcases and not bookcase in the showcases and everything, are they actually that good? Are they actually that easy? And it wasn't until I got my own set that went, okay, it is. <laughs> okay, it really genuinely is. That is, uh, there's something very, very special here in terms of things. Now, now, obviously, it's an investment. And um, for some people that have asked about them, uh, that's perhaps not a massive problem if they're brand new to the painting hobby because they haven't got spent a fortune on paints already. Now, if you spent a fortune on paints already, that can be a big, big stumbling block. I mean, do you want to spend literally hundreds of pounds or hundred pounds on uh, on new paints that that you're already you're already using a, a huge paint set for all your painting work. So there is that aspect to it, which is a which is a slight pro sorry, I'm gonna go over that with the, the white anyway. Have I done all the silver? Well I've just been nattering on. I think so. Cool. Alright. Well, that's that's good. Uh, so that's the um, the metal work, the silver work done. And you see, we're starting to see some form tissues out. Now. Sorry, Zing Zhao, as I've called him. Um, okay. So uh, and and uh, disclaimer: this is nothing from uh, Mythic Games's or Super Fancy Brawl's uh, official law or anything like that. This is just stuff I've made up on the spot. Um, I just like the idea of. You know, uh, Xu Zhao is actually uh, trying to live up to the to the to the legend that is Xing Zhao, his, uh, his uncle. Um, this this albino uh, tiger that was uh, held in captivity, just showboated and stuff like that, managed to break free and, and then become his own hero. But through, through slave, effectively through um, being a slave to the mages, I guess uh, that they would they would see his his skill set and they would bring him out to do the arena uh not that he wanted to but then suddenly he became the people's champion the people loved him and then he he started to entice that, you know embrace that as it were uh i guess he won his freedom just like gladiator <laughs> let's be honest uh that kind of idea uh, anyway uh right so let's do the headband I think I'm going to do the headband in black. I don't want to do it in brown. I want to do it in black. I don't really want browns in this at all. Uh, I'm going to go black Templar for the headpiece now. So, yeah, uh, so good, just going back to it. That They're the things. When, when the community reach out and say, you know, uh, thanks for your uh, painting video, inspired me to to either start painting again or to just start painting um, or whatever it might be, that that means so much to me. And, you know, being a teacher, that's why I teach as well. You know, it's, it's getting those, uh, that, that, that kind of job satisfaction from actually genuinely helping people, um, which is what the whole point of it is. It's not to make... <laughs> I am not making any money uh, from any of this, uh, and it takes a lot of time. Uh, even though I don't, as you'll notice, with a lot of my vi with pretty much all my videos, uh, there's not a lot of production that goes into play. It is pretty much raw video footage um, because I just don't have the time to edit, produce the videos or anything like that. So I literally just film it on the iPhone. <laughs> and this is as simple as what a YouTube channel can be. And I, I think that's pretty cool is you just get your iPhone or your phone, whatever you've got. Um, so I've got an iPhone. Just record the videos and chuck them onto my YouTube <laughs> unedited. Uh, and then they get posted out and then I just post out what I've just done on uh, social media. And that's that's basically my format for the vast majority of my uh, videos. Now, some I, I do take some time to edit and uh, put together and things like that. Um, but I just do not have the time to do that for most of my videos. So again, this one will be exactly the same. It would have just been raw readily um, recorded and then just chucked onto YouTube. Bang, done. Um, I, I do not have the time. Uh, I've, got, I've got a family. I've got a full-time job. Uh, I do not have the time to, to edit and everything else. Um, but I don't think it needs that because of the nature of my painting videos are real-time videos. Uh, and I, I wanted that to be the case. I wanted it to show exactly 
how long it took to paint these miniatures and to show how the strength and, and the, the strength of contrast paints, the actual pure strength of those paints and how quick they were to do. Um, and then just join with the community and all the rest of it. Okay, anyway, um, enough baffling. So what about the gems? What about the gems? I think I'm going to go red. I think I'm going to go red. Keep, keep, keep a, a kind of consistency with the cape. So we're going to get back that Blood Angels red. And we're going to get the gems now. We're going to hit those gems. One on his... On his headband, I guess it is. And one down here. And we'll get some um, art coat to go on top of that. To make sure that we get a nice sheen to those gems. Yeah, that's good. I like red. Blood red. Destruction. <laughs> Uh, new champions coming out as well. It's so cool. And I, I really appreciate the fact that uh, Mythic has, has got uh, the champions onto Board Game Arena now, which means that basically when we launch the league uh, on, on Sunday in a few days' time, people can choose Board Game Arena or Tabletopia. Awesome. Okay. Um, obviously, got a lot of the detailing to do. Uh, that's going to come last. I think the next thing is to uh, crack on with the metal work and get that bronze look. Uh, as well as, so we're going to need the Griff Charger Grey, as I've mentioned before. Um, bronze is the orange. And then kind of going to round the, bro the bronze. Gold's going to be a bit too, I don't, I don't really want to do it gold. I don't want to do it gold. So maybe I'll just go with Griff Charger Grey. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And you're going to see how that's going to look in a second. So uh, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see how we go. So we're going to start. I'm going to start with the orange first, actually. And uh, that's going to be in between. So like here. And I love this technique of just using lead belcher and then going over it with whatever color you want. So this is kind of like a, I guess it's more like a copper than a bronze. But bronze is very copper colory anyway, isn't it? Bronze gold. Just trying to make sure I don't get it. Oh, I'm going to have to do this sash again, I think. So I know it's off shot. But you see how it's led onto there. That's just, yeah, we might have to redo that bit, but that's fine. Uh, then we're going to just go in all of here. It just looks so cool. Just got to make sure you got to hit all the silver parts, or uh, they will stay silver and they will stand out a little bit. So Ben, I hope you I hope you like this. Um, the problem the problem's going to be I'm going to want it. <laughs> After I've done, I know I know I just will I just will want him. Um, but no no, that's not going to happen. Don't worry, Ben. He is yours if you pay shipping <laughs> plus taxes. <laughs> I think, I think to be honest, if I could put it in a relatively small um, kind of box, shipping box, it'll, uh, it won't cost too much to ship. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can front the cost. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Okay, so I'm just trying to. Where's the paintbrush? There it is. Just getting in the middle there as best I can. Not easy to get underneath that arm, and then uh, let's let's just do the same over here. Uh, 
You know what? He, the his Discord name is Bloody Ben. I presumed it's Ben. His name. Um, <laughs> well, I've just been calling him Ben the entire time. So uh, let's hope that's right. Great player, but you know the the French players from the French league are so good. <laughs> uh, they've been, you know, they've they've played. They're on the are they on their fourth season coming up? I think. Well, we're on a second, uh, the online league. Uh, so you know, they played a lot of games, and a lot of them played more than what's in the league as well. And they played in 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 the online league as well. So yeah, it's quite. You know, you can see that they are very good players, and um, it's not surprising that there was a. Uh, you know, the final was two French players from the French league. Uh, because, oh, wow, Tom. But as the game, hopefully as the game goes on, uh, we will see some some competition to that. I didn't do too bad. I know it was my league, but I'm happy with how I played. Some games. Awesome. So, I hope that's all right. Uh, I would say that's a bronze color uh, that's coming through there, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's, it's a it's kind of fist guard needs to be bronze as well. Definitely. Oh, this I'm gonna want this. Oh. I'm really gonna want this. <laughs> Chisel. Uh, I forget how good like alternate color schemes can be. Oh. And then what we're gonna do is gonna do this bronze here. Oops. Sorry about the camera shake there. Awesome. And then we want to do um, this needs to be bronze. And this bit needs to be bronze. Oh, I just got. Oh, come on, man. Stop making mistakes. But again, again, and I have I've had feedback that uh, people appreciate the fact that you know I, I film it all completely live, in real time. So if I make a mistake, how do I remedy that? And you know sometimes that's worth as much as how do you paint that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and with with contrast paints, water is your razor. So if you make a mistake, chuck over some water with it, and then um, it will get rid of that mistake. As long as you do it immediately, it will. If it dries, you ain't gonna get it off. You're gonna have to paint over it. Okay, so there's his sword. Uh, the start of his sword, I should say. Uh, this is gonna be some sort of brown. I know I said. Oh no, let's do that black as well. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we can do that later. Uh, obviously, the green stuff is kind of got up here, so we've lost some detail there. Um, in fact, that should have been silver. Let's do that now. While I see it. of lead belcher and that should be silver going up and down there that's better okay uh, next so we're not going to do any kind of gradients with oranges and blacks and all the rest of it and doing um, uh, wet blending or anything like forget all that this is going to be simple. Simple. Right, let's get this Griff Charger Grey on. So there's the metals now. So uh, around the outside, we're going to put the Griff Charger Grey, which is going to give a, a, kind, of, a kind of grey, like Basilicum Grey, but much lighter in tone and a little bit of a blue tone to it, which I think will be really quite cool. I hope will be really quite cool. 
I should say, rather than just claiming it will be. Now the thing I don't know, Ben, is if you've um, if you're a painter, if you've painted all of your SFB and stuff like that, I'd be really interested to know that. Awesome. And what you'll find is he's a much better paint than I am. <laughs> and he'll look at this and go, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, the... Um... I just love the immediate effect of contrast. I know I say it literally on every video. I think I've said it on every single video I've painted for. Um, but it's so, so true. I mean, he's really coming together now. Um, let's get some light on him. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh, I've got some bronze over here. That needs to be done. And, you know, people have said it before, but, you know, the videos that I do, yes, of course, you can just copy them um, if that's the effect you want, or just try stuff yourself. Um, that's the beauty of contrast paints is you can just, just try stuff. Uh, and the, the worst case scenario, you just respray it, right? If it's horrendous, you respray it. And as long as you've just done a, a quick one coat spray for the undercoat, and you've just done one coat of uh, contrast, you're not going to lose too much detail anyway. Oh, that needs to be. Hmm. So, what I'm going to do is hit this inside like that. And do that with the bronze as well. Okay, so pretty happy with that. So uh, that's the metal work. We just need to do this bit now. So as I say, we're going to do this bit in the Griff Charger Grey. Just because it's this kind of light silver, which is pretty cool. And then we'll go in with blue, just to give it a really, a really vibrant look. So he's coming along. He's coming along. Now, obviously, his fur and himself look a bit plain at the moment, but uh, we will, we will be uh, sorting that out. Most certainly, look at that horrendous arm. <laughs> the pincer. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get let's crack on with the uh, the fur. I think next, and, and try and get that so it at least looks a little bit more like a tiger. So, uh, looking at all of the art we've got here, how do I? Boom, boom. That's better. That's better. Um, I can have a little look at some patterning. So we're going to go in with. Um, no, no. I'm going to get the bigger brush just to do this because it's still got a decent point on it. Um, and we're going to start with the hair. So obviously he's got hair, which is not quite the same. Um, but I think what we'll do is, I think we might do it quite similar, actually. We'll just do um, 
a black tip. Oh God, this paintbrush is so long. Uh, a black tip. So not being afraid, just chuck this on to start with. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is just do, start doing the, um, The, the, the kind of the stripes the, the quintessential stripes of a tiger of course now uh, what this will doing it with null oil means that it will take maybe not null oil you know what forget that I'm going to do a mixture so I'm actually going to go in with the black templar and I'm going to put I'm going to do relatively, relatively uh, thin stripes for that. I'm just going to get this in a bit more. And just uh, try and get some transition. So it's not just a horrendous little like black slob that goes on. Okay, so we've got like the black of that. Now let's do the stripes. So I'm gonna start with this and do it relatively. I mean, obviously that's got a lot more on it, so it doesn't work. That's fine. Uh, let's. Give the arms. So, I think what we'll do is just do a kind of. Now, uh, uh, actually, hang on. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Yeah, we're gonna kind of follow the original markings to a point. the arms uh, so give a really nice vivid black to start with in fact we might, might just go down the black this black route to be honest <laughs> cool. Um, right, let's, let's let's try the arms over here. Hopefully, this will make it a little a little better. To be honest, uh, I won't worry about it, Ben, too much. Uh, this arm because it's going to be completely covered by the um, by the 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 trophy. So it's it's, it's not it's not too big of a a problem I don't think awesome that's quite cool um, uh -huh -huh. legs do the similar kind of thing I guess just uh, if I think about a tiger itself. Whoops, sorry, that was not the camera. Uh, then yeah, the the legs are actually where most of the um, the stripes come from. And then kind of like circle ones. Uh, Just trying to to get my brush in there as best I can. Um. 
and it's not easy to get in this miniature to be honest in, in, into certain parts of this miniature it's a bit of a tricky one so just trying to do it as best as I can there we go I think that's pretty cool I might have done one too many stripes on that leg not massively happy about that one at all to be honest um Then the tail basically has the stripes around it, so. And again, very similar to the Shizal that we did before. Plenty of the black on the end. And then, doo -doo 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 -doo. we'll use the null oil to kind of sort that. Again, yeah, not really worrying too much about it being a perfect line or anything like that because it's fur, right? Fur shouldn't be perfectly symmetrical and even. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, that leg. No, uh, am I too fast? It's not great. It's not. It's not great, and I think part of the reason is because I need to get behind the leg to do it. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's much better. Yeah, that's cool. So that's the black parts of that. And that I'm leaving the face to last for reasons, uh, for obvious reasons, so I can do the detail at the end. So let's get this null oil. And we're currently just over an hour. So fingers crossed, it won't be horrendously amount, much more time. And let's start to think about these. Um, And it's it's just a matter of uh, just just using the null oil to give that really rough. Oops. So you give that so it's not too clean in terms of the the colouring. So you got a bit of a. Whoops. Oh, that's too much paint on there. No, no, let's just soak that up. No. And we'll just go in over those stripes. And the null oil will go into the recesses like the uh like the um contrast paints but just give it a bit more of a less of a less of a tone and less stronger feeling so it'll hopefully give it some blended edges without any work really that's the <laughs> i just sound like a someone who's lazy don't i um but it's not laziness it's just um Trying to be efficient <laughs> and produce something that, that, that looks all right. 
for Ben, hopefully. Not happy about that. That was rubbish. Because I didn't go around the whole tail and I really should have. So that'll have to be remedied. Okay. Okay, I'm just using this to make sure we've got a little bit blended. Now, um, I want to say this, 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 uh, this hair knot, this hair knot over here. This will, oops, that's pretty much. Uh, let's just really chuck in the oil there and then we'll uh, get some black in there as well um just trying to get some definition in certain parts then we're gonna have to go in the black for the rest of it uh yeah especially the uh, the ends of the uh yeah that'd be quite cool actually Awesome. Now, it's, unfortunately, his, his belly and his back would be the most covered in the stripes, but uh, obviously we haven't got access to that on this. So, um, but he's coming along. He's definitely coming along. And now, Ben, if you buy Jinshen, uh, you can have three of these uh, Tigrans. I want to call it, but that might have been butchered. Uh, let's uh, make sure we do the rest of the uh, bronze armor, just on the knees there. Don't be afraid to use your finger, you know, if you've, uh, especially if you're trying to get rid of the paint that you just put on over the raised edges. Uh, just a quick brush over with your thumb and then just do the bits, the main bits that you actually want on. Awesome. Okay, we need to do the black of that arm. We also need to, do, of course, do the face um, and do a few little bits like that bit there, which I absolutely hate what I've just done there. Um, and we also need to touch up that sash as well. Now, perhaps the, yeah, perhaps that sash is too close to his color of his uh, his fur, so I'm not massively happy with that. I might have to change that. But we'll see. Let's get the black templar out. And let's start doing the head. So we're going to start by just checking on a bunch here. And now I want that to be graded up. So uh, what I'm just going to do with that is get some. Contrast medium to blend that up the, uh, the those whatever they're called hair bangles <laughs> they're not called hair bangles I don't know what they're called uh, well here anyway and just uh, blend that blend that edge so it's not just like a, a sudden stop and you can already see it's already started to dry so you've got to be quite quick or else uh, you lose it and then what's the point. Awesome. Let's give that a little bit of there. Uh... Okay. Awesome. Perfect. So Shizhou is now, sorry, Xing Zhao is now uh, coming along. I'm still not happy about the sash. I might have to give a different color. I want something to be quite striking, but I don't know what. Blue, mate? Maybe blue is the right color. It's not going to be too strong. 
black. Hmm. Actually, black might be best. Yes, I like black. I like the idea of black. I think that would work. Do not worry about this. Okay, do not worry about that. That's not going to be seen. Uh, before we move on to the face itself, I think I will um, just get the black onto that sash and onto the arm. So I do love black template. I think it gives such a great colour. And plus, I don't have to go back over it with any mistakes then. Which is just lazy. <laughs> and like it denoting that he's a black belt in uh, martial arts, right? The, the highest of the highs. <laughs> Again. Yeah, I think this will this will be it was too close to his, the colour of his skin, fur, even. Perfect. That's better. That was the right call. That was so the right call. And sometimes it just takes a bit of bravery and just try something as extreme as you think it might be. And I've just got it all over his wowzers. There we go. How much better does that look? That's so cool. That's so good. I'm so happy I did that. Right, okay. I think I'm going to get the, uh, the, the real thin brush out now uh, to do the facial details. So, you better stay open, lid. So, um, we're getting our size triple zero. And we're thinking about this first. First of all, the nose uh, needs to not be like that. I don't know. Is that too much? Let's put those down the size. It's better. Uh, then we've got the mouth. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Then we got the yeah around around the mouth. So all this will be kind of proper dark, and then kind of just follow the lines. I guess they're pretty good, really. Oh, this is going to be better than my Chazelle. Stripes down the side, just straight from the um, the art, not the art, the the photo of the white tiger, just following exactly what it's doing on that picture, on that photo. I mean, obviously, it doesn't have headbands. <laughs> uh, maybe just do a kind of, a kind of like a, almost like a Twi'lek, isn't it, from Star Wars? Those head pangles.
Pretty happy with that. Okay. Um, let's get the eyes. So oh, we'll go back over the eyes, of course, with uh, to do the actual eyes themselves. But I'm going to start by uh, just. Just uh, checking a little bit of black here and here. I'm not really sure. Is that armor? Oh, she's out. Huh, hang on. Much like a. Oh, it's part of cape. Oh, right, okay. I really didn't get that. Did I do that on my original she's out? Maybe I didn't. Now we need to get the red into here, underneath here. Uh, but he's looking pretty cool. Zing Zhao. Okay, let's do that now. So I'm going to get the red. I don't know what that was. I need to put some metal on there as well. That's Blood Angel's red. So, yeah. so of course it was. Yeah. yeah, I did do this. Just completely forgot. It was a while back since I painted SFB. Try not to get over that hair because I do not want to ruin that hair that I've just spent ages on. There we go, that's fine. Awesome. So now you can see that it is. His cloak comes round. That makes more sense. Awesome. Um, right, what about the toenails? Have we got like one that's got the nails out? Uh, um, I think, to be honest, I'm happy with them white. Uh, but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, I think, is uh, just give them an outline of black, just where it meets the toe, just to give it that contrast. Oops, it's not too bad actually. Okay, that's better. To give it a proper use and look. I haven't done the mold lines. Sorry, Ben. Uh, about that. Uh, now the ears will also be blackened. So we need a black ears. There we go. And all I'm going to do is just do a couple of a couple of uh, streaks there with the black as well. So. Sure. Yeah, I think you'll be pleased, Ben. I do think you'll be pleased. <laughs> I'm going to want it. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh, yeah, never mind. Uh, let's do the blue of the Blakes. That was what I wanted to do. The blue. Oh, or black. Because blue's a bit random now. Maybe black. A metallic black. Yeah, I think I think that's the, that's been my theme. 
Let's get the black on there. As long as I don't do it too heavy, it will come out metallic. That's cool. That's actually really quite cool. And it fits with them. Um, the kind of color scheme. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in there. There we go. Superb. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Cool. There's only, only, obviously only got one blade. Uh, and then we'll just do black on the handle as well. So you don't want to go in with too many different colours. Because it looks a bit too hodgepodge. You want some sort of theme running through it. There we go. Eyes. Oh, now hang on. Just need to do one little tiny bit. Where's that orange gone? On this headband. Just need to uh, do this bit. And we also need to sort out the eyebrows, actually. Come to think of it. they are still silver <laughs> so let's get in with the white i think yeah let's get in with the white so we need some wraith bone base to kind of recapture that white oh, i might do that on the other uh, as well, just to make sure we've got Eyebrow. Um, I really want this to be a bit more whiter on the nose. Um, I could go around and pick up highlights everywhere. I, I'm sorry, I'm not going. <laughs> I haven't got the time. Um, you know, you can you could pick out highlights around, and then they'll look. You know, it would it it would look better. Um, but I just don't have the time. If Ben, you you want to carry on, you can do. It. I mean, obviously, you could. If you carried on with the white and the highlighting, it could it could look amazing, literally amazing. But um, nope, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not doing that for you. Uh, I'm doing this as I've done all of the SFB figures, good, but not ages. the ring that he's got in under his cloak. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh let's go for the eyes now. So the eyes are blue. The eyes are blue, right interesting. Eyes are blue like like an albino I guess. Um any kind of albino, I think any kind of albino animal tends to have blue eyes. I guess they could have red as well. Well, it could have any colour, I guess. So let's go in here and touch up this. And Thago, I bet you're jealous now. You know, we're going to be getting this amazing Zing Zhao. And we just need to wait to get the blue onto that. And I'm just gonna go in with the I'm gonna go with the full force of the Talisar blue 
uh, for those, those eyes. No hold back. And before, actually, before it, maybe before it dries fully, it might just give it a slightly lighter tone. Um, Awesome. Those striking blue eyes. Ah. He looks so cool. <laughs> Sorry if I don't mind saying so myself. <laughs> what are we on? Hour and 25 minutes. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. Um, now, obviously, I haven't done the rings different to the bronze. I think it's fine to keep it bronze. I think it looks, it looks good uh, like that. Yeah, there's a bit of moulding problems going on there. But again, you're not going to see tons of that. Um, he's going to have his, his helmet on like that. Which uh, you could argue ruins it. <laughs> but that's all part and parcel of the whole point of the, the trophy. Mm. That's the problem. This looks so cheap. <laughs> I might ask Ben. I might take some photos and see what he he wants. Uh, I might have to spray this, and because uh, it is awful, <laughs> it's so plasticky. Um, like I do want it to be like this, because um, it just adds to the kind of tongue in cheek of it. But that just so out of place now. Yeah, I'm gonna re I'm gonna respray that. I'm gonna respray this. Get that. Well, not respray it actually. I can do it now. I'm just gonna chuck on the the. This should go over it. So just, um, you know, it's plastic. So uh, the base paints, certainly the lead belcher, should go over it. Pretty much no problem, he says. And it'll certainly look better than <laughs> that plastic. So I'll do the rest once that dries. Um, and then let's get some pupils into the Shuzhou's eyes uh, with the Black Templar again, because it's it's kind of like a already watered down black, which is exactly what you want for um for pupils, of course. Should be it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And to be honest, I think that's Xu Zhao done. Sorry, Xing Zhao done. That's Xing Zhao done. Uh, which uh, just goes to show how well, how quickly you can get a miniature paint. Now, I need to do the base, of course, as per normal. I never do the bases. Uh, let's get the base done uh, while waiting for that crown to dry. Um, it's going to be a relatively large um, video, but I think it'll be fine. So again, oh, wow. Hmm, now, here's a point. Should I do a kind of snow based, snow based one with this? A little bit special. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit special with this. Uh, I'm thinking more Arctic style of uh, of uh, of Xinjiang. So I'm gonna go with the Apothecary White again, not the Agaras, Agaros Dunes. Um, I'm just placing this onto here. Now, obviously, it's got grass. Mm, that's a little bit of an issue. You won't really see much grass dropping out of there. Um, but we can do it. Rather than grass, we can have it as kind of... I don't know, like... Arctic-style... Um, I'm just going to apothecary white across the whole lot here. And then I've, I've actually got some snow type basing uh, that I can use on top of that as well. Just to get a little bit of difference from the rest of the pack. Now, obviously, Ben may not have painted his uh, 
with Agaros tunes, obviously, and those colours. So um, it may look completely different. But um, that's kind of fitting with what I foresee. The terrain that Jing Zhao would naturally occupy. Um, so if you think about, like, uh, not bright green. So it needs to be like a, a militarian green. If we use the militarium green for the uh, plants, I think that will work. I'll have to wait for that to dry though. Well, it's going to be horrendous. So let's get that big brush and then we're going to do, if I hold like that, I can kind of do the outputs of the, of this. Or not, as the case may be. I mean, it's going to be gold anyway, so I'm not. If I don't cover it completely, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I just want to try and get as much of it as I can. It's really hard to do. Oh. I need some more. Oh, so forget the other turn green. Gold all over my hand there. Some lead belt chat. Just pack it on the inside here. Cool, uh, that'll do. That's gonna look so much better. I know we put, um, we can put, a br oh yes, we can put bronze on the top and gold around the outside. Or even go in with the colors that we've done there to match it. Hmm, I might do that actually. Yuck. So I think we're gonna leave the video now uh, while we're waiting for stuff to dry. So this is Jing Zhao. He's uh, pretty much done now. I uh, just got to do a couple of bit touch-ups. Um, that's to be on the crown, the base, obviously. And then we'll get it all glued together with the trophy. Which has been handled so much that it's... No, that's fine. Uh, that we'll go through it. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Yeah, yeah it, should, it should be pretty cool. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Certainly an alternative uh, colour scheme for uh, Xu Zhao, but this is now Jing Zhao, uh, who is from Season 1 of the Super Fantasy Brawl Online League. So until next time, here's another painting video. Keep brawling.